I told you that your day-to-day -day tasks could be performed for you? Done for you. Let's think about laundry, taxes, driving. It's all over the place, but the list doesn't end there. That's the beauty of autonomy, to be honest with you. That's the beauty of autonomy. Now, some people here might be wondering, what does he mean by autonomy? In simple definition, autonomy is the state of being self-governed or self-controlled, meaning it can be applied in numerous contexts, in your day-to-day -day schedules, your lives, timetables, sports, goes on and on. But what if you can implement this ideology into technology? What if you can implement autonomy into technology? So what is autonomous technology? Autonomous technology is any form of technology that can perform or execute tasks without any human intervention or control. Um, without human assistance or intervention needed, there does need to be a code, um, or in other words, a script that needs to be typed in so that the computer can run its functions on its own, or in some instances, a robot. Now, when we think of autonomous technology, it's being applied in dozens of sectors, mainly in engineering and computer science, obviously. Um, for those of us who have Siri, uh, Bixby was very popular with Samsung, um, Alexa, so on and so forth. And we even have self-driving cars um, that are run by Tesla. When we think of all of these big ideologies um, and all of these big tech companies implementing autonomy, we have to think to ourselves, where else can it be applied? Um, it's a very fundamental question that we have to ask ourselves because uh, this type of technology does have the capability to change people's lives. And the fact that it's already being implemented as we speak, it's already giving people benefits as of right now, it gives us some leverage. I mean, think of that last time you went to get a blood test uh, conducted on you. You got quick, simple, and efficient results, didn't you? There wasn't a scientist in the back um, looking through instruments um, and scanning for any viruses or any pathogens. It was actually an automated machine that was testing your blood for various diseases or pathogens. So we can see uh, in daily application the potential of this type of technology. So we have to ask ourselves, why can't we implement it even more? We have to ask ourselves, why can't we implement it in areas where this, tech, where this type of tech has never even been thought possible to be applied? These are some of the very important questions we have to ask ourselves. But unfortunately, autonomous technology does have its bad side. Unfortunately, it does have its disadvantages. As with many things in this world, for example, there could be glitches in the coding. Um, there could be uh, miscommunication between the hardware and the software, depending on whether it's a robot or any type of functioning machine, computers, etc. There could be errors, so on and so forth. But, what, but the, what the idea states is, what if you could improve on this? Not only internally, and by internally I mean the structure of the autonomous machinery, but also expand on it. Like I previously said, expand on it and give this type of technology to the people that are in need of it most. I mean, people take this type of technology for granted. You do too. Think of your alarm. There's not someone on that other end of the phone that's just waiting there to set it for you. It's being autonomously coded um, or slash programmed into your phone to make it ring at a set time. Our lives are already starting to be controlled by autonomous technology. Our lives are being given assistance by autonomous technology. So why not implement it more and use the youth as a medium? I mean, the theme is be the change. So I call upon the youth to be the change and implement this type of tech in their daily lives. How? How is the main question? By simply talking to a friend, by simply sharing an idea with your teacher, by simply using the resources at your disposal, for example, computer labs, so on and so forth. There's one very big fundamental asset that I believe the youth has, and that's time. We need time to develop this type of technology. We need time 
to make sure that it can reach the full capacity of development and reach its full potential. We need time. And what do the youth have? They have time. So, where can this type of tech be used outside of uh, developed nations, outside of economically stable countries? For example, it can be used in agriculture. I believe that's a very strong example. Imagine if you are a farmer, be it tea, be it coffee, or any other economic good. But you, you're running short on labor, or you don't have enough funds for labor. Well, you can choose to go autonomous. How? By, by simply purchasing uh, autonomous tractors and machinery that will process the goods from field uh, to table for you. Think about it like that, the processing plant. If you had people um, continuously uh, doing this labor, some, some of the production process would be a bit slow. But when you introduce autonomy, it makes it quicker and efficient. But let's not be too ambitious as having too much autonomous technology in a workspace could lead to some errors that could shut the entire operation down. So how can the youth as themselves and as a community help bring this idea to life by simply having the ambition to try and develop this technology. Be you, a, be you a biology student, a chemistry student, physics, computer science, any science for that, for that matter, or any humanity. Keep in mind that this technology can be applied in what you're interested in, even for economic, even for economic purposes. So think about the potential and simply share it as a friend. Have the call to action and think. Think about where this technology could take you. Think about where this technology could take your family, your friends, and everyone. It has potential only if you utilize it uh, correctly. So I say, if you'd like to go autonomous, have this autonomous technology, help every single species on this planet, then I say we must think autonomous. Thank you. <laughs>